Hello Edwin, Alish here. I'm a new subscriber of yours and this is my entry for the video contest. I have found your channel through Steve Carlson and um, I hope I can show some interesting records, but um, uh, in the description you have been talking about 5 to 10 or more. I've completely failed in that department. I think I have uh, many more. So uh, I will keep it very, very brief. So it still remains a rather short, snappy video and doesn't turn into an hour-long uh, drivel of mine. So. Uh, since we are um, in a kind of a geographical um, concept now, let me start with my home country where I was born, which is the Czech Republic. Back in the day it was Czechoslovakia. And uh, let's start uh, with this album by Bitova and Fight, which uh, is uh, a very early album uh, by the Czech singer or Moravian singer, to be precise, Iva Bitova. And uh, this is quite uh, a beautiful folk folk rock combined with uh, certain avant-gardistic jazzy elements. Same goes uh, for this other album from Czechia, which is the debut album by the band Jablkoň called Deva Tavlna. It seems that this was a rather popular genre in the 80s in Czechia. This kind of a mixture of uh, jazz and folk with uh, this um, kind of humorous element of avant-garde. So this is Jablkoň. Now let's move to the south, to Austria. Here I wanted to show you uh, quite a beautiful 70s album by Georg Danzer called Notausgang. Uh, so this is a uh, cool uh, music uh, in German and um, Viennese dialect and uh, it's a pretty nice album to listen in parts, rather funky and always in good humor. Yeah, um, obviously um, when we are in Austria, let's have a look at the first album by Falco called Einzelhaft. Uh, rather cool album uh, with uh, some great music on it. Um, Falco's first attempt at pop stardom. Now I thought let's take one step to the east to Hungary. This is an album by the uh, prog rock band uh, Omega X. It's called Azark and um, yeah, this is a 1981 record uh, from the days before um, the fall of the Iron Curtain. Now, uh, another record from Hungary. Um, it's the debut album by Laszlo Hortobadi called Transreplica Meccano. Um, this is a highly experimental electronic music, but uh, heavily combined with uh, elements of, um, well, uh, Middle Eastern sounds. So before we get to Germany, a little stop over in Switzerland with uh, Stella by Yellow. Fascinating mixture of uh, elegant pop music uh, with all kind of uh, crazy experimental ideas. Yellow, Stella. So as far as Germany goes, I've just picked three records um, which are all completely different. Uh, so I'm gonna fly through them. One of them is Globetrotter by the amazing uh, band Guru Guru. So uh, this is a wonderful uh, 70s album in parts with live recordings, in parts with studio recordings, with all kind of overdubs. So uh, it's all very, very interesting and uh, uh, quite an exciting record. Now this is the first album by the band Spliff called Radio Show. Um, this was the former Nina Hagen band. They all quit at the same time, basically, because they just could not stand the atmosphere of working with Nina Hagen anymore. And they started their own band. Um, and uh, 
uh, appear to be quite traumatized as far as front singers go for the rest of their career. <laughs> so this is uh, radio show Spliff and um, I think one of their best records. And this one is something rather recent. This is Crocodile by the electronic experimental group Belp from Munich. So this is a mixture of, um, well, let's say dubstep and avant-garde. Now let's turn to Denmark uh, and uh, to one of my favorite acts, which would be Secret Oyster and their album Vidun Derlige Kelling. And uh, this is a pretty cool uh, jazz fusion slash progressive rock band from the 70s. And uh, quite wonderful sound. I really love this record. So that's for Denmark. Now one more step and we are in Sweden. This is Waves by Terje Ribdal, the Swedish uh, jazz guitarist. So this is jazz fusion, but in a rather atmospheric, almost meditative mood. A pretty interesting album, again from the 70s, 1978. Came out on ECM. A very different kind of Swedish album is this one. This is uh, Mikael Rikfors, Kicking a Dream. It's quite a wonderful uh, sort of mainstream rock music uh, with a very cool, funky vibe. And the last Swedish record for now is uh, Music Inspired by Watership Down by Bo Hansson. So this is a uh, rather keyboard-oriented prog rock. So one little stop over in the Netherlands. Jan Ackermann and Kaz Lux. And this is uh, quite a cool uh, rock album from the 70s. Um, I'm a big fan of Jan Ackermann. It's one of my favorite guitar players. And... Uh, this is a quite a cool record. Just a little stop over in Belgium. Now this is Tragedy for You by Front 242, a 12 inch. Um, so an uh, example of sort of old school EBM and uh, power electronic music. And we have arrived in France. Zuluk by Jean-Michel Jarre. His 80s detour from uh, the rather classical Jean-Michel Jarre synthesizer sound here with a lot of guest musicians pretty cool album and here we have Jean-Claude Vanier L'Enfant Assassin des Mouches um, kind of a rather cult album of sorts um, I think this was shown a lot on, on VC in all the years and um, this is a interesting mixture of classical music, experimental music, jazz, funk. I don't think you can really put it into a description box. And this is Mystical Adventures by Jean-Luc Ponty and um, this is his uh, quite wonderful sweet 80s album uh, with a beautiful kind of uplifting sound and a nice fantasy cover. So to stay in France, but be halfway to North Africa already, this is the debut album by the late Rachid Taha called Barbès. And this is uh, one of the early Rai albums. And uh, it's a pretty cool one uh, with uh, this wonderful mixture of uh, sort of late 80s French funk music and kind of traditional North African Algerian tunes. And of course, we can't ignore the King of Rai. Um, this is a rather cool 12-inch by Khaled featuring Amar and uh, in the song El Harbavine uh, here uh, remixed by four different outfits including uh, State of Bengal, Nitin Sony and uh, Trans Global Underground. So it's pretty groovy. Little detour to Italy. Nicola Conte. This is again a 12 inch called um, Jet Sounds and Il Pianeta X. Um, so, this is a kind of a new jazz uh, sound, very funky. Uh, the 12 inch came with an additional 7 inch by Nicola Conte with two tracks called Arabesque and Fuoco Fatuo. If we jump over to Spain for a second, I have two CDs to show. One of them is called Caravana 
by Joaquin Ruiz. Joaquin Ruiz is a flamenco dancer, but that has spent a lot of time amongst um, great uh, Nuevo Flamenco musicians. So he recorded this record together with the guys from Radio Tarifa, for example. And it's a pretty cool uh, Nuevo Flamenco record with strong elements of North African music. Same goes for this album, Elegiza de Babilonia by Luis Delgado. Now this is a different kind of animal. Um, Luis Delgado makes mostly uh, very atmospheric music uh, with orchestra elements and very classic, very traditional Renaissance instruments. And um, he creates this uh, beautiful blend of North African music and, and uh, Spanish Iberian music. So this is El Ejizo de Babilonia by Luis Delgado. So those were the CDs for today. And now we are in Tunisia. This is Emel Malhuti and uh, her, th I think, third, second or third album called Anson. And it was an interesting uh, progression of her um, artistic evolution because this is, uh, unlike the previous records, this is a very electronic album and very powerful and with a lot of uh, very aggressive beats. So uh, this is a pretty cool uh, project from Tunisia, um, although I think she lives in New York. Now heading south into the Sahara obviously gets you to the band Tinariwen. This was the album Emar from um, 2014. So this is a kind of a bluesy Tuareg sound. And actually Tinariwen are getting pretty popular these days. That's at least my impression. Good for them. Now this is uh, Nura Mint Semali and her album Arbina. This is music from Mauretania. So we are still in the Sahel or Sahara region, just on the west coast, on the Atlantic coast. Um, this is a pretty cool album, a wonderful mixture of uh, Mauretanian pop music with a cool funky vibe and great bass and drumming. Uh, it's a really nice record. So, now let's get to the country of Mali. Now this is Nahava Dumbia. Um, this is a 12 inch uh, with two tracks by her that are um, remixed here into and brought into a deep house type of vibe. Um, I think this is how you should hold it. <laughs> and uh, it's the right kind of record to play at a dance party. This is Fatou by Fatoumata Diawara. Her debut album came out like three years ago. Uh, I think she's becoming like the most famous singer from Mali these days. Um, wonderful, calm record uh, with beautiful singer-songwriter material. And uh, certainly a good entry into the contemporary music of Mali. Now let's get to Nigeria with this beast. This is a triple album, a compilation called Doing It in Lagos, which is a rather suspicious title, isn't it? Um, boogie Pop and Disco in 1980s Nigeria. This is a quite a big uh, project, uh, big curation uh, that came out on Soundway Records. And uh, it's uh, three, three discs, three albums, plus one seven inch which I could show you if you like. So, that's nice here. I like these little gimmicks. Um, this comes with a, well, with a huge booklet with a lot of photographs, uh, a lot of text. So once you are through here, you are really an expert of the 80s disco scene in Nigeria. Um, so this is all pretty cool. And uh, as you can imagine, the music is quite fantastic. But uh, do not expect a sound that is too much in the vein of Afrobeat and Fela Kuti and this. this uh, those are rather clear attempts of producers and musicians to kind of penetrate the, the Western uh, disco market, I think. Uh, so most of these tracks are rather um, very universally recorded uh, disco 
uh, tracks and uh, not always. I think in, in, in some parts uh, there is all kind of uh, substance of African music coming through. Also there is a very prominent presence of old school hip-hop music uh, as uh, it was popular in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, and here it comes a lot into the foreground. Now getting to Cameroon. I have shown this before. This is Francis Bebe and a compilation uh, with his music. Uh, so this is quite interesting and exciting mixture of uh, of uh, sort of folky, folky songs that are beautifully presented in a very electronic uh, and very danceable way. Um, so um, this was certainly a pioneer of his craft and art, Francis Bebe. And, uh, I'm very glad to have this album. Am I so, um, this was my entry. Congratulations and um, have a good day.